I'm Lindsay Valdez and I'm a yoga and meditation instructor. I'm based in Los Angeles and today we are in Malibu at the Rafi Lounge. This is the Yang Temple and I'm going to guide you all through a beautiful relief sequence on your biomat. So those of you that have this incredible tool, use it not only for rest and rejuvenation, not only for meditation, but for yoga as well. I personally have a back injury after a gnarly fall down the stairs, and this has been my best friend. We're going to use this today for a gentle repair sequence. It's gonna be about 20 minutes. So I'd like for you to come onto your mat, make sure that your mat is plugged in and turned on. We're gonna activate the negative ion therapies here. So make sure you turn that on. And then we're gonna set the electromagnetic frequency pulsations to the level four, which is gonna be at the beta brainwave state, so that we do have alertness and focus as we move into this gentle yoga sequence. So now I invite you to join me. Let's go ahead and lie down on our backs and we'll begin this lovely relief sequence. Come to lie down on your mat. Welcome in, just for a few moments, the healing properties of the infrared heat. Allow your spine to really sink into the amazing crystal therapy that's beneath you. You're lying on a bed of crystals of purple amethyst, which helps to activate the third eye, helps to balance, and also black tourmaline which is known as the shaman stone. It helps to protect and purify. Take a moment to just let your spine settle into these beautiful healing properties. Breath in, breath out. Again, inhale, H-A out the mouth. One more like this, friends. Fill up your lungs, breathe all the way to the top, and hold your breath. Exhale all the way out your mouth. Allow your arms to rise up overhead, hook your thumbs, and start to reach through the fingers and the feet, just gently wiggling in the hips and wiggling in your shoulders. Feel space in the waistband. Feel space in your abdomen. Take a beautiful inhale. And then exhale, hug your right knee in towards your chest. And start to ankle roll your right foot, just spreading your toes. Take a beautiful swirl and twirl in all directions. And then place your right hand onto your right knee and start to move the right knee in a big circular motion. So just swimming through the right hip and the hip socket. And then go all the way around in the opposite direction. Right. Breathe through any kinks. And then see if you can maintain. For some of you, you might be able to fit the right knee into the right elbow and just allow that right thigh to come outside the right rib cage. Stretch long through left side body, big inhale. Exhale, left hand to right knee, and we're gonna take the leg across the body for a supine twist. Now just open up your right arm, release in that right foot, and see if you can take the head and the neck to the right. Now close your eyes, and you're gonna start to weave the breath through the rib cage. The space between the ribs is what we're trying to flush out. Take a deep inhale, and a full exhale. As best as you can, try to breathe in and out through your nose. Deep inhale. And a deep exhale. One more here. Now gently come back onto your spine. Put a bend in your left knee and extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Go ahead and hold on to your hamstring, and again, just take a few ankle rotations here. This is so good for decompression in the spine and to flush out the back of the right leg. Now let's play with pointing the foot and flexing the foot. 
Getting that beautiful stretch along the calf and the shin, along the Achilles. And you're gonna keep a nice flexed foot. Cross your right ankle just above the left knee for a nice figure four stretch. You're gonna weave your hands through the loop and hold on to that left hamstring. Now those of you that want a little more, gently nudge your right elbow into the top of your right thigh and say hello to your piriformis, into your tight booty. If you're like me, a little gentle movement here feels nice. Relax the jaw and the muscles of your face and deepen your breath. Continue to allow your spine to really sink into the heated mat beneath you, into the bed of crystals that you're lying upon. And welcome in all of the healing properties of this amazing mat. One more here, friends. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Gently let that go. Step onto your left foot. Step down onto your right foot too. Extend your fingers towards your feet. Perhaps the fingers graze the heels. You're finding a lot of length on the spine. We're gonna take a few roll-ups in our bridge pose. So on your inhale, lift your hips and raise your arms. Stamp down into your feet. And on your exhale, roll the spine down. Let the hands come down too. And now find your breath as you do this. Inhale, lift the hips, reach through the arms, stamp down into the feet. And then exhale, curl your spine all the way back down. The hands come down too. You have three more like this. Inhale, rise. Exhale, gently fall. Again, take it up. And wave it down. One more like this. Inhale, lift it up. This time I ask that you stay lifted. And you can just snow angel your arms down underneath you. The hands can rest on the crystals. Or you can hold on to your own hands. Press firmly into the feet to lift the hips. And try to snuggle those shoulders underneath you to get this really beautiful heart opening and shoulder rinse. Take a deep breath into the belly. Feel the belly inflate. Exhale, draw belly back to spine. One more like this. Balloon your belly with breath, inhale. Exhale, draw navel back to spine. Now release your hands, roll your spine all the way back down. You're gonna take your feet as wide as the mat and knock the knees together. We call this a broken bridge. Take your arms overhead and try to catch your elbows, or if that's too much, just goalpost the arms. And now take a gentle tick-tock with the legs, rinsing out the sacrum, the hips, and the low belly. Now the next time the legs fall to the right, let them lay there. You're gonna cross your right ankle just above your left knee. Now if there's any pain here, back off. If you're feeling good here, take your head and neck to the left. Let's weave the breath through the sides of the body. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Soft face, soft jaw. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more here. Gently unhook yourself. Come on back to center and we'll switch sides. Hug that left knee in towards your chest, extend the right leg long. You're gonna plug your left hand onto your left knee and start to stir that left leg around and around. The right hand can rest on the thigh or the right arm can reach up and over yourself. Do what feels appropriate in your body. Switch directions, really flossing out the hip here. And then see if you can maintain, for some of you, right, left knee into left elbow, the left leg moves outside the left rib cage. Stretch through the right arm, take a beautiful breath in. Exhale, right hand to left knee, and we drizzle the leg across our body. Nice supine twist here, opening up your left arm, left shoulder, 
and now deepen your breath. Give yourself time here. Big belly breath in. And a low belly breath out. One more. And just feel yourself wringing out the spine and rinsing out your tension. Come on back to center, bend that right knee and take the left leg up to sky. Hold on to wherever's comfortable for you and swirl and twirl that ankle. We're getting out all those snaps and crackles and pops. Now play with a pointed ballerina foot and a nice flexed karate kick and just keep moving this way to experience stretch along the back of the leg and the front of the leg. We'll keep a nice flexed foot and cross your left ankle just above the right knee for our figure four stretch. Weave hands through that loop and dive right deep into these bigger muscle groups. Send your breath into all of the sore spots. Perhaps a little wiggle. Perhaps an exhale out the mouth. Maybe even letting out some sound to release tension here. I like to do a little bit of a horse breath. Whatever is going to allow you to really drop in to your relief. We'll spend another moment here, friends. <sighs> Gently let that go, stamping right foot onto the mat, left foot comes down too. We reach our fingers towards our feet, finding a nice long spine. And let's go for five of those bridge roll-ups once again. Inhale, we rise. Really find your full range of motion. Exhale, we roll it down. Stay with it. Inhale, we rise and we reach, reach, reach. Exhale, we roll it down. Three more, keep going. Activating those glutes, activating those hamstrings. Waking up the spine. Final round here, and we stay lifted, stay lifted, and see if you can swim those arms underneath you. If you're holding your hands, try to take the opposite clasping. We're shimmying our shoulders underneath us to really open up the heart space. Stand firm on your feet, and now find your low belly breath. Inhale, and exhale. All right, the neck is long, and there's space between the chin and the chest. One more here. Releasing the hands, rolling your spine all the way down to the sacrum. Once again, the feet go wide, the knees will knock together, and we'll take the arms up overhead. Either binding at the elbows or just making a V, or a goal shape, and then windshield wiper here. Let's Rinse away any of the residue here. Flush it out. And the next time that your legs fall to the left, let them lay. Cross left ankle just above that right knee. See if you can take the head and the neck to the right. And we really get into this QL system here and the hip flexor. This is where a lot of us have cranky low backs. Breathe deep into your body temple. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the inhale creating spaciousness. We get length here. And on the exhale, we move out stagnation and we soften. One more. Beautiful, friends. Gently let that go. And this time we're gonna hug behind the knees. So draw both knees in towards your navel. Your hands are behind the knees. Rock a little side to side. And we're gonna go in for happy baby position. So you're gonna kick your feet up to the ceiling. See if the hands can find the pinky side edges of your feet. Draw your knees to the earth and then explore. 
Explore the length and the width of your spine. Feel into the hips and the groin. See if you can try to soften those hamstring muscles. So we're not pulling or tugging on ourselves, but we're really finding a fit. This is a shape of curiosity and connection. Let it be a playful, joyful shape. You've made it onto your mat and you're here to find relief. One more beautiful breath in and a deep, deep breath out. And the hands are gonna come back onto the hamstrings. I invite you to try to rock and roll gently up and down your spine, giving yourself this nice back massage from the top to the bottom. Take it a few more rounds, there's no rush. And finally, you'll come all the way up to take a nice seat. If possible, you're gonna cross at the ankles. If not, just cross your legs at the shins. And this is our nice Sukhasana. You're gonna walk your fingers over to the right, take the left arm over your left ear, and just take a nice, beautiful side stretch. You might be able to bend in that right elbow and lay the elbow to the earth. Stay long in the waistband, big inhale, big exhale. Come on up through center, switch the crossing of your shins, take the opposite shin or opposite ankle in front and switch sides. Left fingertips to the left, right arm is gonna arc up and over, stretch into your waistband. Some of you are gonna be able to drop that form or elbow. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more here. And come on back up to sit, so nice. And I want you to stamp down onto both feet. Your fingers are gonna face your feet. If this is too much for your wrists, then your fingers will face out to the side. But if possible, fingers face the feet and we're gonna take a reverse tabletop. Stamp down into the hands and the feet, lift the hips, lift the heart, and if possible, allow the head and the neck to fall back into the shoulder girdle. We're gonna take some lion's breath here, big inhale. On your exhale, stick your tongue out. Keep firming in the fingers and the feet. Breath in, lion's breath out. Just one more for these shoulders. Big inhale, let it roar. Go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest. Lower your seat down to your feet. Beautiful, friends. The fingers will come off behind you. The feet go wide. And once again, windshield wiper. Nice tick-tock, nice washing and rinsing away the tension. And the next time the legs come to the right, that's the way we're turning. Allow your left hand to come to your right knee, come up onto your right fingertips, and start to turn your torso looking over that right shoulder. Now those of you that want more, lower your forearms down to the mat. Those of you that want more, lower your forehead to the mat. Some of you might be able to go deeper, and we call this one hugging the globe. You might be able to tee out your arms and take your left ear down onto the mat. Stay and breathe. Gently releasing, lifting the heart, come all the way around, and we do that again. Fingertips, we lift the heart, and then just windshield wiper. A nice tick-tock for the hips and the shoulders here. And the next time the legs come to the left, that's the direction we're going. Right hand comes to left knee, lift the spine up, and look over your left shoulder. You might stay here, or do what you did on first side, right? See if perhaps you can go a little bit deeper and really welcome in the hug of the mat beneath you. Get as close to you can to your heart space here. Get as close as you can to the infrared heat and the crystal therapy. Simultaneously, we have this negative ion therapy really drawing out impurities, 
really drawing out any of our toxins, helping to rebalance and reset. We have those electromagnetic frequencies pulsating through us to really help us to be in this meditative but also focused state where we're really conscious and participating in our healing. One more here, breath in and a deep breath out. This time, as you press down into the hands, we're gonna stay facing this direction and come onto hands and knees, our tabletop position. Now let's move through those traditional cat cows. Sink the belly and find a back bend. Tuck your chin and tuck your tail. Keep going. Inhale, this is our cow face. Exhale, cat spine. Let's go three more. Breath in, breath out. Stay with it, inhaling, exhaling. Final round here, really waking up the front of the heart and the back of the heart. Now you're gonna come to a neutral spine and you're gonna widen. Take your hands really wide. You might even kind of grab onto the edges of the mat. Scoop the knees a little further back and we're gonna take some bigger circles here, just totally untying. Go all the way around. Really get into this beautiful 360 degree sensation of yourself. You might close your eyes and let the head of the neck go and then switch directions. Go around and around, friends. Don't leave any corner untouched. This is this holistic approach to your healing. And when you're feeling good, we're gonna bring the big toes to touch, the knees stay wide, and we lay ourselves down into child's pose, balasana. Melt the forehead, bow into your beautiful body. We're gonna bring the palms in prayer to touch, take the fingers up, scoot the elbows forward, and let's say a little prayer for our healing, right? We come to the mat to feel better, we come to the mat to find relief. We come to the mat to release and to welcome in this rejuvenation. Honor yourself for showing up. Honor yourself for doing the work. The ultimate self-care is self-love. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. You can also come back to lie down, giving yourself a beautiful Shavasana. It is a pleasure, it is an honor to get to share these healing modalities with you. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.